Hi friends, uh, today we have Neha, who is one of our AI course enrolled students. Neha, I'll quickly introduce you and then we'll go into the core of the discussion. Sure, yeah. Sure. Uh, so Neha is just, uh, she's joining uh, Wipro as a machine learning lead in the coming days. And in the last two years, she has taken a career break during which she has upskilled her knowledge of data science, machine learning, and especially deep learning. And over the last 10 years, she has worked in various roles. She has worked as a software engineer at Capgemini and analyst at Barclays and also an AVP at Deutsche Bank. So she comes with a lot of experience at wide spectrum of companies. And during her career break, she upskilled so as to get into careers in machine learning. Very happy to see your transition into a core machine learning lead role. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So cool, cool. So let's get started. Uh, the first question right, uh, right, right, out of the right out of the box is, uh, what was your interview experience like? Because uh, you, while you've built a lot of POCs and other stuff at, at mm -hmm. Barclays and other companies, uh, you, you learned a lot during your two-year career break. So what was your interview experience like at companies like Wipro? What, were, what was the core focus that they were looking at? How did you uh, leverage the, your prior experience that you've had and things like that? Uh, yeah, so uh, the interview process, like uh, initially in the screening, they wanted to know uh, about uh, what I have done. And then, uh, yes, uh, like because I was on a career break, so somewhere like uh, questions were asked about the break also, like what I did uh, during the break. And um, and then uh, it was like a direct dive into the conceptual understanding uh, so it, it started with the basics, like uh, machine learning basics. And then there were some scenario based uh, questions because considering I have more like experienced resource. So, you know, like um, uh, I have an imbalanced data set. So what I should do. So somewhere like somewhat scenario based was also there. Um, and then later on, like uh, in the algorithms also, like they wanted to know uh, the working of the algorithm rather than like the conceptually, whether you have understood uh, what's going on with the algorithms. So um, it was more like on the concepts and then some scenario based questions. And then uh, in deep learning also, they asked uh, a couple of things like, uh, uh, back propagation algorithm, uh, they asked then different optimizers. Um, then in the uh, second uh, technical round, they asked uh, uh, about transformers as well. And, um, you know, like what is special about the self-attention module, those sort of questions. So, yeah. Very interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, again, I'm happy that they were also asking some state-of-the-art techniques like transformers, right. how they work internally. Yeah. But in the case of scenario-based questions, how hard were they? Similarly, uh, when, they were, when you said there are questions about deep learning optimizers, or the internals of algorithms, how hard were they as compared to what you've learned in the course or some of the assignments that you've done in the course? Um, it was all covered in the course, I would say. Like uh, it wasn't something outside what you have already taught us. Um, the scenario based was like just, you know, connecting the dots basically. So uh, just if, uh, because, you know, in the interview, you're also anxious and sometimes like this has happened with me, like I, I knew something and at that time it didn't strike me. So that did happen, but uh, like, yeah, so uh, it was, everything was covered in the course. Like there was nothing out of what you have already uh, told. Were there something specific to a lead position? Were there some questions very specific to a lead position? Because you have a lot of experience, right? You can piggyback right. on the, all of the experience that you've gained over the years. So yeah. was there something specific to managerial or leadership type of questions also um not managerial as such but they did ask like uh, questions like what was challenging about a particular uh, 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 work that you did or um, you know what do you see as a challenge when you are a machine learning uh, resource so what uh, what can be the challenging part so like that they ask something more uh, generic like uh, not exactly yeah so uh, now I wanted to go into your learning strategy. So as somebody who has a lot of work experience, worked in various roles, what was your learning strategy during the career break to make the most out of it and to move to a full-fledged machine learning role? Uh, yeah, so... Um... 
so initially like uh, what happened i was doing my own studying and i was interested in artificial intelligence like deep learning i was very interested i wanted to know uh, some things and um, the self study was not working out very well because there are many resources but uh, again like there is like a string of putting everything together that was not happening and then i have a friend who uh, works as a data scientist so he actually he he was enrolled in your course and he like really uh, you know uh, was selling me this course that it's amazing you just have a look and uh, you have some free vid videos uh, initially so i just thought that i'll just go through the free videos because by that time you know i had already uh, put in money in a different course so i was kind of apprehensive fair enough fair enough yeah and then i i really liked your uh, style of teaching because uh, you um, uh, break down every concept into smaller things like anybody will get it uh, that sort of approach so i really like that and then i decided to go ahead so um for applied ai like initially my strategy was very like i started on a very high note and i was like uh, learning new things and then applying in the assignments and uh, i was following up like uh, in the assignment like how much syllabus i have to complete to take on the next assignment all that i did really well for two and a half months uh, i completed almost 10 to 11 assignments and then in between 3 4 months uh, due to some other commitments my uh, studies took a back seat <clears throat> and uh, that was kind of like a um, i would say like a low point uh, uh, i felt very demotivated coming back to it because when i started revising i was shocked that i'm not able to recollect anything <laughs> yeah and because i did everything right and so well that it was something that i was not able to digest so um if you remember i mean i'm sure you remember this but i had uh, sent an email to the applied ai team and uh, i i was very honest that you know I, i'm not remembering anything and uh, i'm feeling very overwhelmed and um, the uh, reply that i was expecting was like a generic reply that you know uh, don't lose hope and you know uh, stick to the routine and everything but what i got was an audio clip from you where you actually gave me actionable points and um, i was quite blown away because it showed so much of passion from your end and the whole applied ai team in general you know like this is built on not just like pre recorded videos but it's like passion and hard work and i was like okay if he obviously knows what he's talking about so i'm just now going to listen to him what he's saying and you said that just uh, stick to the revision so 3 to 4 weeks i did that and instantly i could see that change like okay you know yeah and then i then again went back to the assignments and um, so yeah so that was my strategy and then uh, once i i had completed a big chunk of the assignments then i started applying because ideally i wanted to like complete the whole assignments but then my career break was also increasing and i wanted so you're to you're also applying it. as you are finishing some of the assignments yeah, yeah got it yeah, got it yeah. what suggestions would you give to women very similar to you or even folks very similar experience both women and men with 10 years of work experience, especially women who might have to ha take a career break yeah, for whatever reason, even men who have to take a career break. So right. what suggestions would you give to folks like them on how to build on top of their earlier careers, piggyback on their earlier careers right. and learn new skills like AI machine learning to transition back into industry? What are your broad suggestions and from your own experiences, what can you tell us more? Yeah, so uh, first of all, I would say that um, if you are on a career break, so one of the things that takes a hit uh, is your confidence. Because when you're on a career break, um, you don't have a life system where you can get your hands dirty, do some things. And uh, this is where assignments play a very, very important role because those assignments will, uh, you know, give you like a platform where if you have if you don't have assignments you won't have the push to really go and try something on your own so like for me that worked um secondly uh, the live videos that you have uh, so they are also more uh, closer to the real world uh, that's what i feel so they will be they come in more handy later on like when you are applying and uh, at that point it comes handy and uh, regarding the uh, existing career so maybe you know uh, if you are in a uh, in a company right now uh, not on a career break then you can go back and see 
how you can apply these techniques that you're learning in your project because uh, artificial intelligence is now like the future or even the present in many of the organizations. So uh, I'm sure there are many organizations which are actually thinking about or already working in this. So if you have the platform, then it's easy to transition, I feel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but if you're on a career break, then maybe uh, you can think about um, uh, how uh, closely uh, you can have this uh, skill set in your existing uh, uh, experience. Uh, other than that, uh, I, I feel like you can uh, go ahead like with the assignments and the case studies, maybe build on top of that, uh, you know, with the domain knowledge you have, and you can just showcase that this is what I've worked on. Like, uh, even though I was on a career break, you know, I was updating my skills, I learned new things, because uh, ultimately, you know, if you have the skill set, and you if you have things uh, you can bring to the table, then the uh, company is also willing to uh, you know uh, have you on board yeah so very yeah very nice so anything else that you wanted to add uh, especially for our learners at applied a course or outside applied a course that i may have missed out in this discussion um no that's it uh, i think like revision and uh, everything like whatever you have said is uh, very very important and uh, sometimes like uh, there will be uh, some like um, not all days will be same like yes, sometimes yes. it will be ups and downs in any learning yeah, journey it happens yeah. to all of us yeah so yeah so just to keep that in mind that you're not alone in this and you know every everyone is going through uh, these things and just keep on revising and keep on uh, whatever sir says obviously uh, you guys know um, what you're doing and it um, it really like um, the uh, the pointers that you gave in the initial video like the Feynman technique and all of that that really is very helpful and so just to stick with that cool cool thanks a lot thanks a lot yeah. Neha we understand that there will be ups and downs in any learning journey yeah yeah especially a being non-trivial learning journey in general yes so thanks a lot on behalf of all of our students for a very inspiring journey of yours thank you very much thank you thank you sir for all your support and for all the team for the support thank, thank you, you Neha.